The ocean, a vast and enigmatic realm, holds within its depths an awesome power, a power that can both nurture and obliterate. Witness the relentless surge of these waves, their rhythmic beauty masking a potential for unfathomable destruction. December 26, 2004, dawned like any other day across the tranquil shores of the Indian Ocean. Families awoke to the promise of a new day, unaware of the cataclysmic event brewing beneath the sea. Deep within the Earth's crust, off the coast of Sumatra, a tectonic clash of unimaginable scale was about to unleash its fury. A monstrous earthquake, registering a staggering 9.1 on the Richter scale, ripped through the ocean floor, displacing trillions of tons of water. The result was a series of colossal waves, radiating outwards with the speed of a jetliner. These were no ordinary waves, these were walls of water towering over 30 meters high, surging towards unsuspecting coastlines. The idyllic beaches of Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Thailand and beyond were transformed into scenes of unimaginable chaos. The relentless waves crashed ashore, swallowing entire villages, tearing families apart and leaving a trail of devastation in their wake. Over 230,000 souls were lost to the unforgiving ocean that day, their lives tragically cut short by this catastrophic event. Coastal communities lay in ruins, homes reduced to rubble and landscapes scarred beyond recognition. Yet amidst the despair, the indomitable spirit of humanity shone through. Aid poured in from across the globe as nations united to provide relief and support to the survivors. The world mourned with those who had lost loved ones, offering comfort and solidarity in the face of unimaginable loss. March 11, 2011. A day forever etched in the memory of Japan. The island nation, known for its technological prowess and stoic resilience, found itself confronting a force far greater than any technological marvel could withstand. It began with a tremor, a subtle shaking of the earth that quickly escalated into a violent and prolonged shaking. Buildings swayed, roads buckled, and a sense of dread gripped the nation. An earthquake of unprecedented magnitude, a colossal 9.0 on the Richter scale, had struck off the coast of Japan. But the worst was yet to come. The earthquake, the most powerful ever recorded in Japan's history, had unleashed a monstrous tsunami, a towering wall of water that dwarfed anything in recent memory. As the ground stopped shaking, a new terror emerged from the depths of the Pacific Ocean. The tsunami, towering over 40 meters high in some areas, surged towards the Japanese coastline with terrifying speed. Coastal towns and cities, caught in the path of this watery behemoth, stood little chance. The waves crashed ashore, engulfing everything in their path. Homes, businesses, cars and entire communities were swept away like toys in a bathtub. The world watched in disbelief as the tsunami, broadcast live on television screens across the globe, swallowed up entire towns and cities. The images were both mesmerizing and horrifying, a stark reminder of the raw power of nature. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, located on the coast, bore the brunt of the waves. The plant's cooling systems failed, resulting in a nuclear meltdown the worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl. Over 15,000 lives were lost, countless others injured and millions displaced from their homes. Yet amidst the devastation, the resilience of the Japanese people shone through. The 2011 Tohoku tsunami served as a harsh reminder of the ever-present threat of natural disasters, particularly in earthquake-prone regions like Japan. Journey back with me now to the 18th century, to the bustling port city of Lisbon, Portugal. A centre of trade and culture, Lisbon stood as a jewel of the European Enlightenment. But on All Saints' Day, November 1st, 1755, fate dealt the city a devastating blow, one that would forever alter its course. It began with a tremor, a subtle shaking of the ground that quickly escalated into a violent and prolonged earthquake. Buildings swayed, walls crumbled, and the very foundations of the city seemed to groan under the strain. The earthquake, estimated to have been between 8.5 and 9.0 on the Richter scale, reduced much of Lisbon to rubble within minutes. But the worst was yet to come. The earthquake, centered off the coast of Portugal, had triggered a series of monstrous tsunamis that raced towards the unsuspecting city. 
As the ground stopped shaking, survivors emerged from the wreckage only to be confronted by a terrifying sight. The sea, normally a source of life and livelihood, had retreated far beyond its usual boundaries, exposing the seabed in a most unnatural way. This eerie phenomenon, a telltale sign of an approaching tsunami, sent chills down the spines of those who witnessed it. They had little time to react. The first wave, a towering wall of water estimated to be over 20 meters high, crashed into the harbor with unimaginable force, tossing ships like toys and inundating the lower-lying areas of the city. Two more waves followed in quick succession, each adding to the devastation. The tsunamis radiating outwards from the epicenter wreaked havoc across the coasts of Portugal, Spain and Morocco. The waves even reached the Caribbean, thousands of miles away, a testament to the sheer power of the earthquake that had spawned them. The 1755 Lisbon earthquake and tsunami had a profound impact on Europe. The event, occurring at a time when science and reason were beginning to challenge traditional religious beliefs, sparked widespread debate about the nature of God and the role of natural disasters in human affairs. Our journey through time and tide now takes us to the shores of Chile, a land sculpted by the relentless forces of plate tectonics. It was here on May 22, 1960, that the Earth unleashed its most powerful seismic convulsion ever recorded, the Valdivia earthquake. At 3.11 p.m. local time, a monstrous tremor originating deep beneath the Earth's crust ripped through southern Chile with unimaginable fury. The ground heaved and buckled, buildings swayed violently, and the very foundations of the Earth seemed to crumble. The earthquake, registering an awe-inspiring 9.5 on the moment magnitude scale, lasted an agonizing 10 minutes, unleashing more energy than all the world's earthquakes in the previous 20 years combined. As the ground ceased its violent undulations, a new threat emerged from the depths of the Pacific Ocean, a tsunami of colossal proportions. The earthquake had displaced trillions of gallons of water, generating waves that radiated outwards with the speed of a jetliner. Coastal communities already reeling from the earthquake's impact had little time to prepare for the watery onslaught that awaited them. The tsunami, towering over 25 meters high in some areas, crashed ashore with devastating force, engulfing entire towns and villages. The waves swallowed homes, businesses and infrastructure, leaving behind a trail of destruction that stretched for thousands of kilometers along the Chilean coastline. The tsunami's reach extended far beyond Chile's borders. Waves exceeding 10 meters in height slammed into the Hawaiian Islands, causing significant damage and loss of life. Our final chapter takes us to the rugged and remote wilderness of southeast Alaska, to a place called Lituya Bay. This narrow fjord, carved by ancient glaciers, is renowned for its natural beauty and treacherous waters. On July 9, 1958, Lituya Bay became the stage for an unprecedented geological event, one that would forever etch its name into the annals of natural disasters. It began high above the bay, on the slopes of the Fairweather Range, a massive earthquake, registering 7.8 on the Richter scale, shook the mountains to their core. The tremors triggered a rock slide of unimaginable scale, sending some 30 million cubic meters of rock and ice thundering down the mountainside. The colossal landslide, one of the largest ever recorded, slammed into the waters of Lituya Bay with unimaginable force. The impact generated a wave of unimaginable size, a wave that would dwarf any previously documented. This was no ordinary tsunami born from the depths of the ocean. This was a mega tsunami, a wave of unimaginable power unleashed by the very mountains themselves. The mega tsunami towering over 520 meters high raced across Lituya Bay at speeds exceeding 160 kilometers per hour. The wave, taller than the Empire State Building, stripped trees and vegetation from the surrounding mountainsides, leaving behind a stark and barren landscape. Witnesses described a deafening roar as the wave surged past, a sound akin to a jet engine at close range. The wave's impact was felt for miles around, shaking the ground and generating air blasts that flattened trees far beyond the bay's confines. 
From the tranquil shores of the Indian Ocean to the rugged coastlines of Alaska, these events remind us of the powerful forces of nature and the importance of preparedness and respect for our planet. While we marvel at the awe-inspiring power of tsunamis, let us also remember the fragility of human life and the importance of safeguarding our planet for future generations.